Yeah, it becomes flat. I see him all the time and I'm like, oh, this guy's probably in LA or something. And then one day you were like, oh yeah, I live in Tampa Bay. The Rays play around here. I was like, that's where I'm at. And then I just took a, you know, no took a chance and sent you guys an email. Yo, it's such a pleasure to have you here though. What you got? One of my favorites, I might be corny, but let me know. Is Blackbird by the Beatles. Uh, I, don't, I don't know that, but I do know, <laughs> some, I know some Beatles tunes. I, yeah? I, check this out. You're going to get a kick out of this. All right. This is kind of crazy. Like you get to play drums and guitar all at the same time. I gotta give a shout out to my buddy uh, Michael Chapdelaine who arranged this. It's a John Lennon team. Here we go. Yeah, I think you guys will dig this. So cool. nice. Oh, dude. That's so ridiculous. Let's turn right That's there. Wild. And then, uh, check it out. You look like you lift, too. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> I did uh, back and biceps early, but I'm I'm game to do some more. Ooh. Back and biceps. Are they sore? No, I'm good. That I'm, means you didn't work out. Let's, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we can go for it. Okay, all. look, if you're feeling all right, back and biceps are heavily involved in strongman lifts, but yeah? you want to lift a stone? Can't come to strength camp and I'll lift I've stone. never lifted a stone, but I'm I'm gonna try. Cool, so check it out. We'll do that. And then uh, I'm gonna do my workout. Would you like to just hang out and play some music? Dude, I can play some all kind of stuff, some bluesy stuff, some funky stuff, like all kind of stuff while you guys Anything, lift. cool, yeah. yeah. And we'll get you we we'll get you sweating too. And so what you're gonna do is go to this go to the side where you can see me better. Get your forearms against the stone and your fingers underneath it. Squeeze it with your forearms. Put it on your lap. That's the very first thing you want to do. Once you get there, then you start thinking about the next step, which is this. You want your hands over the top of it. Squeeze it to your chest. And then you lean back and put it up. Now this is the lightest one I got, so. <laughs> Really, you want to keep your arms, look at my arms, they're kind of straight the whole time. Okay. You just lift in with my legs. Okay. Wow. Dude, what's up? I'm not, I haven't even lifted it four inches and I'm already sweating. <laughs> yeah, it's tough, it takes so much out of you. So right here, and then straight, just come up. Oh. Good, there you go. Nice, now sit it on your lap. Okay. Good. Now. Very nice. Put your hands over the top of it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Seems weird. What you're going to do is you're going to pull it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come up with your toes. Yeah, go. <laughs> nice. That is no That's all it is. Oh, my God. You can't. I should make that a new rule. Like, so we should just do around here. You're not allowed to visit shit. or leave strip camp without looking at the stone. Look at that ass. Look at that. One, one rack. He's sweating. <laughs> 
One rep. I'm sweating like he's eating hot oh. peppers. <laughs> oh, I like cool. it. When you're ready, do it again. All right. Dude, that's a like full body pain. I'll be just, I'm drinking my uh, cocaine coffee. I felt that. I, that. I felt that all over. Yeah, yeah that's the thing your whole, everything in your body's working. All right. I'll try one more. That's fun. Let's hope I don't tear something. <laughs> all right. Great. It'll make you a better guitar player. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Wanna play guitar well? Just lift stones. <laughs> yeah, good. Set it on your lap. Get your hands over the top. Hug over the top. Yeah. Good. Come up on your toes. Pull it up to your chin. Nice. You get addicted to it. I posted a picture the other day when I was at uh, Target. Yeah. And you know they got the big balls? The big, yeah. big balls for the Target? <laughs> I just, every time I see that, I do that. My wife got, she got so sick of me. She's like, every time we come here, you try to pick it up. You know you can't pick it up. I was like, just take a picture of me and I'll, keep, I'll have it forever. Oh. One more. Here we go. Got this, dog. Come on. Yep, come on. Over the top. Yeah. How's that for a workout? I love it. How's that for a tip in a workout? That's <laughs> awesome, dude. Oh. This is light. It should be easy for you to do. Okay. So feet uh, a little wider than the shoulder, like. Uh, it could be closer than that. Okay. If you get your hands wider. Yeah. Get under the knobs. Good. Lean into it. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Keep your hands straight. Pop your knee under it. Yep. Pop your knee. That's it. Good, do, go like, go three that way, and three this way. Then I'll give you a bigger one. That was just to warm you up. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Tractor tire. Who needs a champion when you have a tire and stone? That's how I started my business, really, was with garbage. I didn't have, like, I have like nicer things now, Yeah. six years later. Yeah. But when I first started, it was a bunch of used dumbbells, some rusty barbells, and then this stuff, which was all freight, because it's, it's garbage. It works. From here, you're gonna have to really be aggressive. Yeah. And then once you get it here, you can push it over. Okay. <coughs> all right. Right there, wherever you feel comfortable. Okay. Right yeah, there you go. Good, 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 good. Yeah. Put your knee under it. Now you're gonna jump it yeah. up. Hey! <laughs> this Got is it. fun, dude. <laughs> you warm up a little bit. time you snatch it in a while just work just go light I'm telling you just go light and work on the deck Thank you. 
It's awesome. Do you want to use this? Do you want to go lighter or you want to use this? Yeah. Should have stretched them more. See, and then I tighten my my lats, and then you come up like this, and then from here, your hip extension, boom. Try it again. If, it, if you need to go lighter to get the depth, that's what we're doing. We're just practicing the technique. It's all fucking technique. That's what I've been doing for the past two months. Just trying to get the technique right. Yeah. I just, my shit goes out the door, I just throw that shit up. Well, that's why you can I win in strong. <laughs> that's all, that's all strong man takes. Shut your brain off and kill it. This requires some brain, so. We gotta go smarter and stronger. Yeah, there you go. I'm just... That was just all the better start. Now, here's the thing too. I'm tight up top, that's all. While you're, while you're warming up and while you're... I was reading an article by Donnie, Donnie, Donnie Schenkel. I read his article on his blog yesterday. And he said for one year, when you're first starting, for a full year, every lift that you do should be full, never power. So even even though you, you know you're not catching in the in the oh, full yeah. position, once you get here, you just go down into your into your full position, spread your knees and get down there. That way you're training your nervous system to know that's what I want you to do. Okay. He said for a year. I was like, well, that sounds good to me. Book. I, just I just want to throw it. You just want to take this shit and throw it. I know. Ah! Through the wall, right? It requires that you got to like. It's not like someone's a tiger, right? <laughs> Are you sure? Because when you hit, yo, you just got to be aggressive. Yo. This shit, you almost have to, it's like tender aggression. You gotta be half the, halfway aggressive, but also gotta be tender and focused. I just want to too. When it gets heavier though, it's easier to just pop. One more rep, then we'll start adding weight. It's perfect lifting music. That felt good, you didn't even see that. You didn't see that, that felt technically sound. It's just, yeah, boom. You gotta explode and sit. You gotta be strong and soft. It's so weird. I stayed in a deep 
swap positions for 30 minutes this morning. shit efficient, efficiently. It's not the same, man. It's totally different sport. Still tight, so I saw I end up doing like that. Yeah. 
Did you use a stool today? Do what I did just now. That's my problem today, the shoulders. I didn't use a stool. Yeah, take your time, just stretch it. You'll feel better on the next rep.
Seriously, you should just practice over your squats at the end. Lightweight, just go down into it. You gotta humble yourself before the shit that we suck at. Yeah. That's basically what I've been doing. I just but I'm gonna spend a year on technique instead of getting explosive. That's my right. Thing that works. That's what we gotta do. We gotta just yeah, flexibility and technique. You're not gonna do that. No, I, I have to. Well, I mean, for me, I want to stay explosive. So oh, I, I mean, I can I can do other shit. I think it will still cross over, especially if we do heavy lifts. That's why I do cleans. This too, yeah, you're, you're better at cleans. Ah! You gotta focus. So that's a squat. I don't think I'm gonna do that. That squat shit feels worse than the, than the split. Drink. I don't usually use, especially when I'm, and I'm fasting. But uh, the living fuel people sent it to me is called In Sport Recovery with some aminos, some carbohydrates in there. So I'm breaking fast right now. It's five o'clock, middle of my workout. 
because I feel I'm definitely today is a little bit more drained than usual. Should probably carved up a little bit better this weekend, but I didn't. Let's see.
It's crazy how like we think we're so separate from one another in the environment, but you just strumming on that on those strings literally stimulates a person's endocrine system. The glands in their body are secreting new hormones because of what you're doing in the air. It's just fucking vibration. You're just making vibrations. It's going into my ear, and I'm stimu you're stimulating my endocrine system. I brought that the show. I said, you guys know when you get those chill bumps? Yeah. When you get those good, oh my god, I got chills down my spine, or push bumps on my, my arm. I was like, that is the frequencies from the strings, the vibrations hitting your body at a certain decibel level and causing a hormonal release. Isn't that crazy? But they don't want to hear that. They want to be like, no, it's something magical. I'm like, well, there's a little bit of that too, but mostly. Science. You know what? I think there's, there's, there's merit in both describing it as magic and science. Yeah. That's why I think the blend of the two is so beautiful. Because sometimes you need poetry and sometimes you need a mathematic equation. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's that balance. It's in the end. Yeah, I'm going to like break it down. Yeah, it's cool to like accept it as magic. Like, it's just fucking magical. And it's also cool to say, well, we got little names and shit for it. <laughs> <laughs> it is fun to see the reaction on, on people's faces. Like when you play a certain chord, you know, like to go with the mood of what he's about to do, you know, I'm, I'm hearing this. Just. About to hit a PR, Chris. This is PR music right here, buddy. you know, decibels and frequencies and shit, but it's, it's, it's coming through the air like yeah, your magic wand and stimulating my gland. It can shift the mood instantly. It's, it's fucking magical. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Like one of, the, one of the coolest, most beautiful songs I'll play at shows tonight is, uh, well, two of them actually, Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen and um, Overjoyed by Stevie Wonder. Both beautiful songs, but both invoke two different emotions. Yeah. We, you know what? Let's do. We could do snatch pull. And uh, why don't we do this? We'll do front. We'll do front squats. We'll do front squats. I just want to do a, a single on this.
Chris. Work that technique, though, the best you can.
that what you grabbed when you snatched? to have you playing the whole time here. This is, this is your craft. This is your, this is this is your really gift cool. to the world. Yeah, it's such a gift for us to have you here, man. I'd try this. This should, it, it'll probably feel good. He would be like, I thought it sucked. And I'd be like, that's cool, dude. Hey, let me take a picture with you. And I'm ready to <laughs> see that. And he'd be like, okay, I got you. So <laughs> many in. Three, three. Dude, 
Glad to meet you, man. Yeah, man. Thank you, guys, so much. I'd hang out for longer, but I gotta pick up my. I gotta take my children to uh, gymnastics class. No, no worries, man. Um, yeah, I'll email Colleen, right? Email, we'll have a good time. We'll go out for dinner, we'll have a barbecue. I'm gonna sport this tomorrow. Ah, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Real man workout today. That's right. You know where you're going, right? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm good. New Year's Eve last year, the Broward Center in Fort Lauderdale, like 4,000 people. I played the Mario Brothers thing, and the place went crazy. Mm -hmm. Strength camp. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> you know when he gets the star? Oh, when he turns into it's like super? Yeah, it's like Super Mario. It starts to slow down when it runs out of time. Level two? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta get the coins. Underground. <laughs> Mushroom. The tunnel. Who's the boss on that level? Uh, I can't remember. Does the music change? Like my spawn? When you go after Bowser or whatever his name is, Koopa? Koopa. I think it's. Then if you win, you save the princess, you hear. There you go. Uh, I yeah. Did, but <laughs> yeah, it was cool. It was really cool. Good contrast, you know, between the lifting and the guitar. Now I try to, like I said, I try to read everything that's going on and plan what I'm doing.